Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Good morning, good morning. I had some electrical issues this morning, so that kind of delayed me a lot. I was just about to say the morning prayer when the electricity went out. It is what it is, guys. How are you all doing today? I feel like I'm doing these nails every day now, but I'd rather do them than not do them. Seems to be a lot of people in the parking lot today. I remember when it was just my car there, and now there's too many cars. Whatever. Just, just being selfish. Being inconsiderate, just making it all about me. Today's Tuesday. And today is April 2nd, and so I love the fact that we're in April already. Did we decide for one for March on the calendar? Did Diddy, won, did Diddy, did Diddy win again for March on the black calendar? He stayed winning. Don't he? Stay winning, gonna win himself right to jail. Um, <clears throat> got my coffee. Let me say hello to everyone. Hi, Malika with the red heart. <laughs> Did you miss me this morning? I'm gonna still do the uh prayer just after this. Hi, Jenny G. Grand Rising, good help, Tracy. Grand Rising, good help. Hi, Creative Soul. How are you doing? Oh, volume sounds low. Oh, that's because I'm not supposed to be using that. I knew something was wrong this morning. I know something was wrong. Put this down. Or I show some nip. 
might show some nip. All right, this is not Tracy after dark. Let me see if you guys can hear me better. I am good now. Thank you, Angela. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. I am good now. Thank you. Got a lot of work. A lot of work to do. I've got to do something on a solar eclipse. It's in a fire sign of Aries, both moon eclipse and sun eclipse. And could bring a lot of unbridled passions. So buyer beware. If you don't want to fall in love, you might want to hibernate because this is uncontrolled passion. Um, where's Mercury? That would make a big difference too. And then because Aries fries up sometimes unnecessarily, sometimes Aries is just mad because that's a comfortable place for Aries. Um, there could be a lot of arguing. And I also want to remind you all, we are in Mercury retrograde. So misfired communication is the rule here, right? Someone may not hear you. You may not hear them. Don't be so quick to respond to what you think you heard. You probably didn't hear what you heard. Just look at people like they got three eyes and just walk away. Let me help you. Let me check Mercury. Mercury's in retrograde, but what sign is it in? We will take a look. Mercury's in Aries too. What? Will you all survive? Can you all survive this? Because this is ridiculous. Is the universe trying to kill us, all of us, at the same time? Y'all can't handle this. Mm. None of y'all can handle it. I don't care. Y'all cannot handle it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cower. We're going to be like little cowards. Your instinct to fight? No. Please fight. Do not fight. Flight. This is bad. This is so bad. Um, oh, this, this coffee's good. Coffee good. What does... I should have did this for this morning. Okay, let's take a look. Let's 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 play with me a little bit. Come on, work with me. Oh, oh my goodness. The new moon is the new moon in Aries is the perfect time to reset and set intentions. Here's what you need to do. This is from bedthreads.com. It's happening again. We're about to experience the second solar eclipse of the year. When was the first?
while the actual phenomenon may only last a few moments. And that's not true. An eclipse can last hours, but I think what they mean, the, the direct impact is a few moments. But getting there and then leaving it, that could take hours. Um, it affects will reverberate globally and this auspicious time is here to give us a fresh start. Venus, oh no, not Venus too. That's, I knew it. I, I said some of y'all are going to be doing it like bunnies, like passion. Like, <clears throat> I'm okay with the, with the passion part. I, I'm not okay with the arguing part. Oh, I had to go back to exercising. My knees are stiffening up again. All right. The specific solar eclipse and new moon will strike at the final degrees of Aries and is the perfect opportunity to reevaluate our lives. On Sunday, April 1st, was that Sunday or Monday? Mercury retrograde begins at the sign of Aries. That was Monday article. Here's everything you need to know. So now we have Mercury in Aries. We got love in Aries. We got the sun illumination in Aries. And we got the moon. Everything that's done in the dark doesn't look the same in the light in Aries. Vovo, vovo, vovo. Oh, thank you. Is this a beautiful color blue? Thank you. I don't know what color it is. It's like a baby blue, something like that. Thank you. On a new moon solar eclipse, the moon passes between the sun and the earth briefly obscuring its rays. Astrologically, new moons in themselves symbolize fresh thoughts. So the stage is set for dramatic new beginnings. And I have to testify. I have to testify. Dramatic new beginnings I could see. Ooh, what I'm going through right now is going to be drama. But because I know better, I am not investing in the drama. Because I know better. I know what I have to do. I'm going to do what I have to do. And if drama entails, I'm not, I'm not for the fight. I got one concern and one concern only, and that's all I know. So if somebody brings drama to me, I'm going to be like, There's drama on my end. You know what I said to God? I was like, God, I just got my son and his wife back. Like, like, did you wait until this to bring this? Like, what? what, what, what I want peace. I want long-term peace. I do. I want peace and love. I want to be loved dramatically. I want the whole world to love me, and I mean that. I want the whole world to trust my psychic abilities, my, ah, yeah, that's my dream, to be loved by the, oh, oh God, oh, 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 what was that about? That was, that was an orgasm job. Um, I want to have multiple orgasms. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I figure if we're asking for things, then we might as well just throw in some orgasms. <laughs> I don't know if God has a sense of humor. I think he's like, not funny, Tracy. Not funny. Thank <laughs> you. 
Renee goes, I understand. Don't you get it, Renee? I understand. I understand, too. So, all right, hold on a second. I decided to do my own nails, and they look really good. Stop. Don't go anywhere. What I haven't learned was how to be uber professional. That's what I haven't learned. Oh, well. All right. Each new moon is synced up with a different zodiac sign. And this specific new moon is in the sign of Aries. Passionate. Yes. Motivated. Yes. And confident in your choices and decisions in leading the charge. This is the second new moon of the year with the former taking place a month ago. What new moon rituals should I do to manifest positive energy, right? Because that's what we're about in this group, right? So let's see. Oh my God, my eyes are itching. Oh. New moons are a time for rejuvenation and manifestation, representing the beginning of a new chapter, which is true. It's an exciting time to reflect on what is and isn't working in your life and reset is necessary. That means some of you all need to figure out who you are. And maybe this eclipse energy on the eighth will give you the power to lead yourself in a different direction, to reset your lives. One, be creative, let loose. Oh, I love letting loose and spontaneous by tapping into your creative side. Let down your barriers and your rules and your religious structure Ugh. and explore a new hobby you've been contemplating. You never know, it might end, it might end up being your true career calling. You know, we talked about this yesterday and I wanna, um, I want to dance, but it's, I think it's called hoop along dance. I want to do the, the hip stuff. I could do it. It's like Hawaiian dancing. Give yourself a full self care day. I need that so badly. Lock in a complete 24 hours. Listen to this where you do nothing but things that make you feel fabulous. If you've got kids, bring them into fabulous. Draw yourself a bath. Oh, I can't take a bath, but I sure wish I could. Go for a long walk. Oh, especially in the woods. I just want to go to walk in the woods. Oh. Binge watch the latest shows. I do that anyway. Right now I'm binge watching Summer House. Spend all day wearing your favorite sleepwear. I do that all day too. <laughs> Belly dancing, yes. Oh, it's giving me 80s flash dance diva. Oh, yes. Yes. What's the song with the water coming splashing, splashing down? Mm, yeah. Didn't she pass away? Oh, I think she passed away recently. Ah, no. Oh, maniac. Yes. And then, da, 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 no. Oh. 
I'm a maniac, maniac, I know. Oh, mm, 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 mm. all right. That is so unsexy, by the way. There's nothing sexy about what I did. It's uncomfortable. It's awkward. <laughs> I am such a nerd, and I know it. Irene Cara. What a feeling! Mm, 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 such a feeling! Mm, 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 I can't have it! No, don't, 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 don't. Oh, what a feeling! Oh, the 80s. I didn't like the 80s. I was so glad to get out of the 80s. I hated the 70s. I hated bell bottoms. I hated the 80s. I got married in the 80s. And right from jump, my husband was like not the best character. Yeah. I am. Okay. Don't make me upset, guys. Don't make me upset the 80s. Ah, don't do it. When this style was out, my husband wouldn't let me wear this style. I was young. I think I got married in 83, I can't remember. Just finished high school. I was young, like I wanted to dress young and sexy. And then he was like, no, you should wear uh, clothing that's more appropriate for a wife. I'm like, I'm 20. So then I said to him, listen, maybe I'm not understanding you. Why didn't you buy me the clothes that you want me to wear? I thought I would save, be saving money. That son of a bitch went out and brought clothes up to my neck with a with poofy, poofy shoulders. And I was like, oh, oh, you don't want niggas looking at me. That's that's the problem. Oh. I brought whatever he gave me and used them as rags. There was no way in 20 something. And I had a banging body at 20 something. Sorry. Sorry, I worked with the Lord gave me. You can't shroud me away in some long skirt. I'm not like a bonnet wearing, no, no. You're just going to have to relax and you're going to have to trust me. It's not about anybody looking about me. It's about whether you understand I would never cheat on you. In any case. The music was amazing. I agree, John. Oh, treat yourself to flowers. Now, I treat myself to flowers all the time, but I also use it for magic. <laughs> I will buy me a bouquet of flowers, pick those flowers apart, put them in magic. Yum. Yeah, you know what I like? I like take a, a bouquet of flowers, take all the leaves off, put it in a big jar, like a really big jar, but make sure it has a lid to it and put it in and add olive oil. All those flowers and their meanings behind them. Oh my God, use it in your magic for abundance and all that good stuff. Honeysuckles and thistles are aligned with the zodiac sign Aries. Hmm. During this new moon, treat yourself to a joyful bouquet and place them in your bedroom living room or home office for a boost of good vibes and colors. Oh, I'm going to get me uh, a bouquet now for the eight. Okay, guys, this is really important. Start a vision board or write down your desire. This is really important, guys. And this is why I want you to invest in the Tracy Brown Hope Journal, right? Now, my idea behind the Hope, Hope Journal is using it to do Tesla 369s. Do you guys know what that is? Tesla 369? Do you have any idea what that is? Well, let's talk about it because we have nothing but time, right? And we're going to use the time appropriately today. Oh, I'm about to try that. Yes. So you could do a vision board. Oh, please. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. 
let me save this because this if I add to reading this. Okay. Um why is this not working today? Oh. So let's talk about the Tesla 369 method. And when I tell you this method works, it works. I'm about to start the process because I have a huge favor from the universe. Huge. I will tell you about it when it's over. I can't talk about it right now. One is I needed expedite. So that's a word I'm going to put down. Then I'm going to put down, well, I don't want to tell you, tell you what it is until it's done. So what you do, and I want you to be mindful of what this looks like because it gets daunting by the end of the day. So first thing in the morning, before you start running around and driving yourself crazy, showering, getting ready, um, take a moment when you wake up and don't rush up, right? Grab that book and write down your desires. I would say, keep it simple. I would say, don't control the situation, right? So let's say you're looking for love. Don't say, God, bring me a man that has uh, all his hair, money. I can't even think. Don't write that stuff down because by the time you get to midnight, you're tired. Not midnight, but the end of the day, you're tired. So with the Tesla, you can keep it simple. You can say things like, God, bring me love. And if it's just love you want, then focus on just love. And then you can write three or four components that's associated with love. Kindness, bring me love. Specify if you want a male or female, that's really important. Bring me male love. And then go um, kindness, caring, generous, and loving, let's say, right? And then you write that three times in the morning. Sounds simple. Somewhere in the middle of the day, lunch hour through 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, you write that same thing six times. And then the last thing you should do when you are in your bed, your feet are off the ground. Now, very rarely do I give rules, but this really makes a big difference. You write down the same thing nine times. And you do that until you recognize you forgot, right? So you do it every day consistently, seven days a week without ceasing. When you forget, then you could just let it go. And you could start up again, if you want, in a day or so, in a week or so. And if you wanna modify what you did, then change it. Don't do the ex same exact thing. For instance, you can still ask for love, but if it turns out you wrote a goddamn book, then reduce it to three or four conditions that you want for love. <gasps> that is so smart. Creative Soul says, I created a vision board at the beginning of the year. My vision board is my screensaver on my phone and laptop. That is so smart. Okay. So that's the Tesla 369 method. And I'm telling you, it works. I'm telling you, one of the things that I did for the Tesla 369 is ask for my family back. 
I ask for good health for all of my family members. I ask to talk to my son again. And I did that until I forgot. And when I forgot, I let it go. I didn't have any regret. There's no failing in this. And then I waited about a month and I did it all over again, asking for the same things in a new, different way. This is for all those that have anxiety over an issue or something. So I do have a major issue And so now I want to direct the energy to the outcome that I need. So I'm going to ask what that outcome could look like, but I'm not gonna be specific. So I'm gonna ask, let, let me give you an example. You can ask for a car, but don't ask for a white car a gold car. I only say that because it's a lot of writing and at the end of the day, you're gonna have regrets. Now, if you have the patience to be very specific, then go ahead. You can say, uh, I would love a car, let it be gold, let it be a uh, stick shift, let it be a Mustang. You could do that. I'm just trying to help you so that you're not writing a book. And then by the time you're at the end of the day, you can't finish this book because you got to write this book nine times now. All right. It takes practice. So scale it back and then push harder. So start a vision board or write down your desires. And I suggest the 369 method. Try something new. It's an auspicious time for new projects. So if you're feeling ambitious and want to channel the Aries energy of being action oriented, now is the perfect time to try something new. So I do have a new project that I want to present to you all. The items didn't get here yet. Hopefully, I don't know when he sent it out. It's supposed to be three days, but that was three days ago. <laughs> Um, and I can't wait to present it to you, but I have to get it, try it on myself, see how I like it, then move forward. And that's it. That's a really good article. It's on bedthreads.com.au, Australia. Mm hmm See, Renee, you know. You know. You were like, ah, these sentences are too long. When the sentences are long, what you're saying to God is that I don't trust you. So in order for me to trust you, I've got to tell you exactly what I need. I need you to hear me very clearly. The funny thing is, God heard your thoughts before you wrote them down. So he knows that you want a stick shift of a car. He gets it. He don't necessarily have to put it. All right. Now, before the 369 method came along, I said to God when I was in someplace else, I said, God, I need an indigo color car. And it needed to be the XB. I demanded that it be, I would, in my spirit going, it has to be an XB, it has to be indigo. So I started looking on Craigslist, Craigslist for XBs. Whites showed up, blacks showed up, uh, blues, there was a blue I was considering, that one showed up. And I said, God, of course I'll settle for an XB, because that's a car I really, really wanted. I said, I'll settle for an XB. What I want, is navy blue dark indigo navy blue like blackest navy blue dark so 
So I saw something on Craigslist, I think. I think I saw it on Craigslist. I'm pretty sure I saw the color. It did say indigo. I got confused with our conversation. So I thought we were meeting the next day. It was raining. And I said to God, oh, do I want to go out in this rain? Maybe I should just cancel. Because I didn't have a car. I had to Uber. So I was like, maybe I should just cancel. When the guy called me. And he's like, I'll be there in 30 minutes. And I was like, Ugh. okay, if I don't like the car, I don't like the car, right? I get there. It was indigo, interior, out interior. It had a little damage in the front from a car accident, but he was so responsible. He tried his hardest to fix it. And um, I don't even remember how much I paid for it. It made me so happy. I took the car the very next day. And he was Asian, so Asian people go to Asian people. And so we transferred everything right on the spot, gave him his cash money, because it was from my car accident. So I had the cash on me. I paid him cash. I don't care. Yep. I paid him cash so I could take the car that day that day you want money here's the cash give me the keys and we were in the um we were in the office where you transfer the paperwork the paperwork had already been transferred cash keys and i stayed there in washington county because i have nothing but time on my hands and let me tell you something i wound up in a car accident with that car with four people my grandson, my assistant's wife, her daughter, and me. And none of us were damaged. None of us. So the car brought so much value to me, even in a car accident. When the car accident occurred, it was the beginning of the end. All right, because that's when I got the insurance money <laughs> again. <laughs> Don't get the bank get the insurance money. And that's when I did what I need to do during the COVID. I held on to the money for like 18 months, never touching it. Yep. And then I booked a business class flight. If you've never been business, you have to try it. It's very expensive now. I did it during the COVID when nobody was flying. So the prices were so cheap. Uh, and I'm sitting in business very uncomfortable because I don't know what to do. I'm like this. And this, the flight attendant's like, you okay, ma'am? I'm like, uh-huh. Um, How do you work the TV? They had this TV, and it comes out. And the TV goes like this. Ooh. Oh my God. The bed, the bed, it turns into a bed, right? So you lay down in the bed, and then they give you a blanket. They also give you a pillow, but I don't trust that shit. Um, it was COVID. So they pretend like it's sanitized and put it in a plastic bag. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> oh. Yep. Hi, Mary, Mother of God. Yes, sometimes I demand and command when I'm manifesting. Oh, yes. Yes. See, some of y'all beg. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. When you beg, it's because you don't believe. You command the energy to come to you. This is what I need. And you work with the belief system like you're making bread. When I make my herbs, when I make my oils, when I make my hair oils, I am infusing my energy. I'm not asking the oils to work. I'm telling the oil to do their job. And we're going to do this together. 
and we're going to make some hair oil and people's hairs are going to grow pray over my oil mm -hmm. there you go you're going to make everybody's hair grow there you go yeah you command peace is priceless i get you tracy i'm going through some tur turmoil it's been chaotic so here's the thing with turmoil i'm gonna teach you something do nothing when there is chaos do nothing don't make a decision pray but do not step into the turmoil seriously i got turmoil going on right now and i'm like i spoke to someone i said i'm not happy with the decisions that this person is making i'm disappointed and i'm watching things get like crazy but there's nothing i could do about it today in this moment so there's nothing i could do about it today in this moment i'm not stepping in the fray because the answer that i got back was it is what it is and i was like oh okay so that means i have to think outside the box and if i step into the turmoil i can't get god's messages right so i didn't step in now other people that know me very well are kind of concerned that i don't step in and i could feel their energy they're like man tracy we know tracy to be a fighter but tracy's not stepping in this because if it's above my head, I have to calculate. I can't just fight. I don't explain that to anyone. I just do me. Do not step into the chaos. Step back. And I don't know what that looks like because I don't know what your problems are. But for anybody else that could understand, step away from the fray. You're not going to fix anything in the middle of chaos. Okay? There is a solution because survival is mandated. But if you step into chaos, you can't see the solution. So I've got some chaos going on right now. And just yesterday, we think we came up with a really good solution. And that's what I'm going to use my 369 met, uh, Tesla method on. I hope that helps, sweetie. Hi, Tiffany. When, my, when I finish my prayers and manifesting, I always say at the end, in a healthy, positive, safe way. Yes. I usually say, may it be good and correct for all. That just covers everybody. Because the universe does listen, but sometimes not give you what you want in particular ways. So be very careful when demanding and commanding. Yes. So let me tell you about the demanding and commanding. That's, a, that's really good. I might use that phrasing in class. Um, Sin W. Demanding and commanding is all about understanding that you have angels and guides that are around you that they are sitting around you they want to work with you now they know their job is to protect you so they always got your back for that but they would love to do work for you because you don't know that this is something that they're waiting around to do then they spend a whole lifetime with you not giving you what you want. So the best way to practice what I'm talking about is to say, hey guys, I'm going to the mall. 
can you make sure I have a parking space? You're going to get a parking space. So you have to learn to call upon your angels and your guides, not when you're in distress. Call upon them when you just want something amazing. Like when I first came, I didn't see pistachio ice cream, which is my favorite ice cream or vanilla. Either one is fine. And because I had a limited amount of space, because I didn't have a car, so I couldn't go find pistachio ice cream, right? I said to God, show me pistachio ice cream. I don't need it now. I want it when it shows up. But show it to me. And I was patient enough to figure out that one of these stores here, which did not carry it for months because it was a shipping issue, which I didn't know, um, ultimately brought, I think it's called Blue Bunny Pistachio Ice Cream. It's pistachio and almond ice cream. I can tolerate that, the almond. Um, and then I found the ice cream place that sells pistachio ice cream and they sell it two ways. Listen to me, people. They sell pistachio ice cream with liquor in it in this town, with liquor. I was like, I'll try it. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. You're never late, soul sister, never late. So I say that to say, don't always call on them when something amazingly bad has happened. Call on them because you want red roses. Call on them because you want a chocolate bunny. Call on them for everything. Okay? And watch the easy things show up. Okay. Oh, may it be good and correct for all. Simple. Um, but also, I mean, it's a long, dramatic thing. I, I write down what I want, right? So every full moon, every new moon, I write down the things that I want. And then going across the paper, usually in uh, ink, use, I, write, I write down in ink, Melissa, she likes red ink. I think black ink is the best. Red is very powerful. Oh, I would do red. Ooh. I would get a red pen at the dollar store and I would do red for this energy. Write down what you want in this energy. So I would write down whatever I want. This isn't the Tesla method. This is writing down and lighting a candle. So I'd write down whatever I want. Boom, 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 boom. I want this. When you write this down with candle magic, please be specific. Please go. I want a gold car, a stick. Um, Mustang, please be specific. I want a good, a good man that is loving, that is loving to me, that doesn't hate women. That's what I'm finding in this little town. Like men do not like women that will adore me as a woman. Right? I, I don't want to fight a man over being a woman. I, I can't. So I don't even want that one to show up. Like, be kind to me as a woman. Because I'm going to be 
kind and loving to you. So don't, I don't want to half-ass Nick, right? Um, a working member, please ask for that. Some of y'all settle for someone that can't get it up. I would not. Now, I don't need to have sex every night. Once a month would do me just fine. But I want somebody that is demonstrative, right? That wants to hold my hand, right? That needs like, uh, that needs to be touchy-feely, right? That's what I need. I don't know what you need. I know what I need. <sighs> Write it down. Be specific. <laughs> and let's say this is the candle. You take your, <laughs> you guys are cracking up. <laughs> I don't lie. I don't lie. This is the paper, this is the candle. But before you put the candle on top, then I would take a marker and going across the paper, I would write, may it be good and correct for all. Boom. So it is written, so it shall be done. And then trust that what you're asking for will come to you. Don't beg, trust. Bree, how are you doing? How are you doing, sweetie? Oh, Angela, a man that loves and embraces my spiritual metaphysical practice. Mm. You're right, Angela. That's what I need. Yeah. Mm. A man that's like, you're a psychic? I'm like, yeah, I am. Cool. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. I don't have time. Don't judge me because you can't be with me. I, I will move on. I work too hard to get to this space for anybody to stop me at this stage of the game. Which is the reason why I think I wound up being single today. I really feel like the men that came for me were so selfish and so self-absorbed and it was all about them, right? And it's like, but what about me? What about me? What about what I want to do? So I don't stay with men that can't understand my metaphysical prowess, right? Because it's never going to be about you, one man in the whole universe. It is always going to be about the universe. Always. And I want a man that understands universe. But I've said this before, and God doesn't give me the man of the universe. <laughs> he always gives me selfish men. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hmm. Are you better, sweetie? What's up with your car? Have you been able to do anything? It's 1042. Have you been able to do anything this morning? Are we rethinking a new car again? Is that what you're considering is the best option? I love this, Angela. But that is different from the 369 method, right? So the 369 method, don't put too much detail, don't write a book, because you got to repeat that nine times at the end of the day when you are tired. You won't get through the 369 method. So it's practice. If you fail at it, that's okay too, right? Um, 
I also want to say, don't call in a specific person. Give yourself grace and let God tell you who's best for you. Does that make sense? Don't call in a specific person. Don't do it. If you have to call in a specific person, that person was not for you. You understand? Because energetically, the person should have an energetic match to you. And that's the beauty of love and real love, that the energetic match is always palpable. It's always there. All right, I'm over myself. I'm manifesting my high vibrational spiritual high frequency man too. Yes. Now you put a lot on there, right? Because what if he's not high vibrational, but what if he just stepped in? What if he's trying to figure out that he wants to make some organic changes, but you're looking for somebody up here? You're up here. But what if the match is someone to you that just stepped into vibration, right? So that, that those words might be too strong, Sin W. Um, I'm manifesting a spiritually conscious man. And then maybe y'all could vibrational high with frequency together. Never know. Okay, if I can help you with that. I spoke with the mechanic about it. It told the mechanic shop in a few. Everybody does this. Okay, so your mechan your your shop is being told to the mechanic. Okay. Well, it's not days or months, right? It's until the energy kicks in. My method with the 369 is I do it until I forget. When I forget, I feel like I've worked hard enough to call in the energy. And so I would wait a week or a month or three months. It doesn't matter. Some of us might make a mistake early on. So you might do it for three days and forget. And you're not done. Go ahead and pick it back up. But once you understand the consistency and the emphaticness of the method and the wanting to do it in the morning, in the middle of the day, at night, and you're consistent, once you have that rhythm going, and then you forget, that's when you can stop it. And that's your time frame. It could be a month. It could be three months. It could be six months. I doubt it would take six months for the energy to come in. But I feel like the minute you forget to do it, the energy is here. What you want will come to you. All right? Yes, I agree. A work in progress because I was a work in progress. That's my point. Oh, what if he's a work in progress but you're the high vibrational, he's going to be like, oh my God, like you're the one that I could talk to about this. Boom. We got a love match. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're welcome. That's why you guys pay me the big bucks. <laughs> I always say that, but that's, that's not true at all. <sighs> All right. Are we good? Do I need to look anything on Google News? Google News. By the way, I quit CNN. I did. I quit them. They're just too, I can't stand it. 
Uh, Google knows what happened here. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I quit you. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I quit them. Too funny. All right, let me see. I don't know why this isn't coming out. Is Google associated? Here it is. Oh, the Tropicana is closing in Vegas? Oh. Oh. Here, this is so funny. Prince William and Kate Middleton are nervous about Prince Harry and Meghan coming to the UK. Uh, Kate can't speak for herself. And William is a bubbling idiot. So what are you afraid of, William? Mm. <sighs> He's worried about security, though, Harry. All right. All right, nothing too much. So the boat owners, the Dali from Singapore, deny any fault for Baltimore Bridge collapse and demand lawsuit be capped at the price of the boat. $44 million claim. Is that for the boat or for the bridge, which is going to cost more than that? Singapore firm whose ship took down <laughs> the Baltimore Bridge just cited an 1851 maritime law to cap liability at $44 million. The owner and manager of the cargo ship that rammed into the Baltimore Francis Scott Key Bridge before the span collapsed last week, filed a court petition Monday to seeking to limit their liability. Singapore-based Grace Ocean Private owns the Dali, the vessel that lost power before it slammed into the bridge early last Thursday. The company filed under a pre-Civil War provision of an 1851 maritime law that allows them to seek to limit their liability to the value of the vessel remains after a casualty. It's a mechanism that has been employed as a defense in many of most notable maritime disasters. He says this is the first step in the process. Now all claims must be filed in their proceedings. Cases like this take years to resolve. I believe that. Although it is a humongous case with a very unusual set of circumstances, how unusual the boat slammed into the bridge. By the way, there was another boat that uh, slammed into a bridge in Arkansas. Did y'all see that? Didn't break the bridge, though.
barge strikes bridge in Oklahoma two days ago. What the hell is going on? But it didn't break the bridge, thank God. At 125 in the afternoon. It didn't break the bridge, but the barge split in two. True story. Over the Arkansas River. Okay. Yes, I saw that about the other boat. Definitely something fishy. Who's trying to take down our infrastructure by way of bridges? Huh. Wow. Wow. Sounds like sabotage to me. All right. I'm out of here, guys. What's no Tracy site? Thank you. Thank you, Soul Sister. Thank you. Thank you. Bree, I thank you for seven days. Please, Miss Tracy, look into. Did you hear about Kate? Lawyers, Kate have five to seven lawyers who many, one lawyer believe Kate passed away. They're going to take action. If Buckingham Palace doesn't respond, they're going to force Camilla. Send me, send me an article. Send me an article sweetie by the way if you want a reading with me today i have openings 213-458-7408 i am making my oils today and shipping them out tomorrow so whoever ordered it is a two for one sale for my oils um in exchange could you please write a review where's my oil i always lose it all right, that's the oil. All right, two for one sale. Buy one, but you will get two. Uh, Baltimore Port is very imperative, I know, sweetie. Um, it's the bricks. What bricks? I'm so confused. Sometimes I move faster than the words. Bye bye. All right. Oh. Uh, Natasha, send me something. I don't know what you're talking about, so send me something, okay? But I'll look it up, too. Hi, Lisa Stanford, Grand Rising, Tracy, Spirit and Soul, and good luck. Good luck. Good, good help. All right, guys. I love you. I hope I helped today with the uh, solar eclipse information. Take it easy. Bye. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown.